the features of the Masim facility have, have been very deliberately designed uh, with the objective of uh, providing uh, the most realistic boundary and loading conditions that brings us very close to reality. Uh, if we contrast it with uh, traditional testing, if you like, where we idealize things, we say, for instance, that uh, we cannot um, uh, account for the interaction between the member and the system, maybe a column within a building. We cannot have a building that is six stories high uh, in the lab. Right now, we're actually using the, the interaction between the experimental setup and the analytical tools that we have and the software that Massim facility has developed. We can indeed virtually test a six-story building, but we focus on the components of the building that we know are most critical, and these would be tested at full scale, in which case we are really coming not just quite close to reality, but actually we are mimicking reality in terms of the loading and boundary conditions that are imposed on this member as if it was in the building in the field. As I mentioned at the beginning, we need to know the stiffness, strength, and ductility of structures to complete a structural design. How the process of implementing that in professional practice is as follows. From the results of experiments, these aspects, stiffness, strength, and ductility um, gets characterized, relationships for them are developed, um, code committees meet, and those code committees agree on what algebraic expression and what rules should be used in structural engineering design. To advance uh, design, uh, the best way forward is to actually modify the code to reflect real behavior. Uh, code drafting committees are totally unconvinced by analytical results because of the idealizations that go into them. So to, if, to affect codes, we have to affect uh, the code drafting committees in an effective way to show them that what results we are giving are real. This can only be done through experimental testing at full scale under very realistic loading and boundary conditions, which is what the Massim facility offers, perhaps uniquely. So in this way, we provide the results that are convincing to the uh, uh, design community and the code drafting committees, and hence we affect the design code in terms of adopting new procedures that are derived from the very realistic testing that we are undertaking.